Hi, Jam. Welcome back to Dreams here. I'm I'm here to do your next 48 reading. It's going to tell what's going on with you and your energy for the next 48 hours. And what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. I'm sorry if my energy is kind of low. It's been a long day. <sighs> That's all I can say. It's been a long day, okay? Um, if at any time this resonates with you, please thumbs up the reading. It helps me out a lot. And also helps this video get out to other gems like you who need to hear this message. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to your cha to my channel. <laughs> subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days, okay? Um, if you want to book a personal with me, keep in mind this is only a general reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down in the description box below. Also, if you want to buy a candle from me, I usually sell show them in my videos, but today I don't... I'm, I don't have any upstairs to show you guys. If you want to see how that looks, you can go on my other, my, you know, older videos or you can go on my website. I'll be the first thing that you see down below. I also have my Instagram pages in the description box. If you want to follow those too, they'll be down in the description box below. No, I do not have low energy because I'm feeling bad. I have low energy because I've literally been doing a lot. Okay, so <laughs> sorry my, my voice just cracked there, but I really am tired and um, I have so much to do and I'm, I'm thinking about it. So I'm sorry, Gemini, and maybe that's your energy too, that you feel like you have a lot of shit to do and you're probably watching my reading. And you're like, I should be doing something else right now, but you're taking a break for yourself to watch my reading. So if you're doing that, thank you. And I'm so sorry to be so low, especially if this is the first time that you watch me. I'm not like this at all. I'm pretty sure I will... My energy will pick up during a read. Also, Gem, this is the next 48 reads. It's going to be very short because this, the first week of every month is dedicated to my singles. But I just could not leave you guys out who don't really care about the singles read. I really want to do the next 48. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to get started, okay? No more talking. Also, To The Moon is playing. So you know somebody who's been shot at recently or who got shot or you've been shot at, Gem, because um, this song is by Fora, who I love. And I, I told a lot of my viewers about him, and they went to go look up his song. But he was literally shot, like, yesterday or the day before yesterday. So you could have been shot at or been in a crossfire somewhere or, like, um, someone you know was just recently shot. So that's crazy. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Gem's energy for the next 48 hours. What's going on with my Gem's energy for the next 48 hours? Oh, sorry, Jim. I'm so sorry. What's going on, my gems? I for the next 48 hours. Please give me some cards. The star card. Hmm. So you're helping this person who you feel like has been under the crossfire. Crossfire doesn't have to be literally. This person literally did not have to be shot, but they've been going through a lot with other people. And you know how that feels, Gemini? So you're trying to help this person. Also, the Wheel of Fortune, there could be a Sagittarius or Aquarius in your life. So you're dealing with the Sagittarius or an Aquarius, okay? Let's pull random messages for your energy for the next 40 hours. What's going on with my Geminis for the next 40 hours? Give me two messages, Spirit. Two messages only. Two messages only. This looks like more than two messages, okay? You have Pisces. So are you dealing with the Pisces maybe who has Aquarius energy in their chart? Because I feel like Aqua is definitely your sign who you're dealing with. And watch your back. Okay, so you're telling someone to watch their back, Gemini, or maybe someone's telling you to watch, watch your back. Somebody's trying to help you out of a situation. But we're going to see what's going on, okay? Blame is here too. Hmm. So something could have recently went down with someone and they're blaming you. But you try to warn this person. Isn't that fucked up? So it's like because you knew this was going to happen, because you were highly intuitive about what's going to happen to this person, they're blaming you, even though you're the one trying to warn this person. All right, what's the star card for Gemini? You try to warn somebody and the shit still happened to this person. Why? Because it was their karma, will of fortune. So you try to help someone out of something before something happened. They didn't care. 
Also, you have a lot of supporters right now. I don't know what it is. Or somebody try to somebody's trying to help you through something. So you're going through a tough time, Gem, but you have a lot of supporters right now. All right, let's clarify these two cards. Somebody's trying to blame you about some shit, but it's okay. Because your supporters or whoever's trying to support you or defend you knows the truth about you. And they have a lot of passion for you. What's the strength card? What's the strength card here? Outsider. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you outside. Who was this for? This was for um Libra. You could be dealing with the Libran because Libra also was feeling like the outsider. So somebody's trying to keep you out of the loop, trying to do something behind your back. But your supporters or your family or your friends are going to take care of you. You have a lot of support. You have a lot of people supporting you or your guides are even supporting you right now that everything's going to end up okay. All right, what's the Wheel of Fortune? And like I said, guys, because I'm doing the singles reads, which are going to be longer these next 48s are going to be fairly short, okay? So I'm sorry if you're used to seeing my 30-minute long um, next 48s. It's just not going to happen this week, okay? But next week, don't worry. It's coming for you. Uh-oh. These cards are so new, they just fall all over the place. And I have no energy right now. I don't know why. Mm, but you guys don't care. So <laughs> why am I even saying that? All right, Will of Fortune here. You could be done with the Sagittarius, right? What's the Wheel of Fortune? Hmm. You're chasing something, Gemini? What are you chasing? You chasing this person? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to work on something with the person. So you're chasing this person, but they're not giving you much help with, with this. They're not really... Oh my God, you're doing all the work in this relationship and you're chasing this person, Gemini? Leave that shit alone. Why are you the only person doing work in a relationship? That doesn't make sense. What's the Eight of Pentacles? You're doing all the work in this relationship. Like, I don't like that. Let's say the pentacles, please. Somebody blames you for something that happened and now you're you're picking up all the pieces. So you try to turn in, you try to stop talking to this person for cups, but you, from your better judgment said, okay, let me try to work with this person. Let me try to do something. But you ended up doing all the work, 10 of pentacles. You could be dealing with the saggy. Definitely. Stress. And it stresses you out. Always having to make up with this person. Open, always having to be the bigger person. Always having to do all the work in this relationship, in this situation. This could even be a job. You always have to do all the work. You always have to pick up under other people's slack. It's because your better self, your better judgment won't let you just let this person struggle. You always put your arm out to this person even though they leave you out in the cold all the time. Hmm. Alright, so let's move on. I would go deeper, you guys know that, but this is a short next 48. I'm sorry, guys, I just have to do it so I don't burn out. You see, I'm already yawning in your videos, so I don't burn out. We have to keep it pushing. But your next week, your next 48 will be longer, I promise, okay? I promise, I promise. And I usually wouldn't do the next 48 in this week, but I'm doing it because I want to. So, you know, just appreciate, okay? Don't hate, appreciate, Jim. So let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl. For the next 48 hours, what's going on with Gemini's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours? What's their energy spirit? Give me some cards. Nine of Cups. Yo, this person's hella lazy, like a housewife or house husband. This person's hella lazy. Ten of Cups as well. Okay, so you could do all the work, but then when it comes to the, to the result, they're so happy if you're dating this person, Gemini, and y'all both have children, it's like, you do all the work for the children. Like, I'm going back to Christmas. You brought all the gifts for Christmas. You cooked all the dinner for Christmas. Their, but their family came over, and their family congratulated both of you guys. Like, oh, my God, good job. Y'all did so great on Christmas. Look at all the presents under the tree. Look at all this food that y'all bought and y'all cooked. And you're just like, yeah, that was me. But this person was like, Thank you. Thank you. You know, me and Gemini, we got this. You know, we're a power couple. And you're like, bitch, I'm the power. I'm the I'm the fucking energizer bunny behind this shit. So this person's hella lazy. Hella lazy. This person, they could be home all day, Gemini. When you come home from work, the dishes are in the sink. That shit irks the fuck out of you. And when you come home, the kids have not even did their homework. That irks the fuck out of you. You're like, yo... You've been at home all day. You couldn't help them do two plus two equals four. You couldn't help this person. You couldn't help the kids do two plus two equals four. 
Okay. So this causes a fight. You get really pissed off when you come home. You're always mad when you come home. You think your children are starting to realize that too. But it's because this person is so lazy that you deal with. Because you are always doing all the work. You're always helping this person and your kids. Three of Pentacles. So now you want to have a conversation about this. And you want this person to do more work around the house. They know this. Yo. Oh. Gemini, how do you deal with this shit? All right, what's the nine of coins? What's the nine of pentacles? You do all the work at work, at your actual job where you make money, and at home. What's the nine of pentacles for this person? Oh, sorry, I didn't put... I didn't... Oh, oh, damn, bro. These cards are so new, they just fall right out of my fucking hand. It's annoying, okay? But we're gonna just go with it. Let me pull two random messages for your homeboy, homegirl. What's two random messages... For Gemini's homeboy, homegirl. Aries. You could be dealing with the Aries, a fire sign, an Aries. Or this person gets really angry when you confront them about why they're, what they're not doing. They get really angry, very defensive. Libra as well. You could be dealing with the Libra. But I'm getting like, even if you're dealing with the Libra, they don't bring balance to this situation. This, there's no balance with this person, Okay. That's what I'm getting from Libra and Energy. So what is the nine of, of pentacles? Sorry, give me a give me a second. Cause these these cards are so slippery and shiny, it's hard. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Alright, what's the nine of pentacles? This person looks lazy as F. This person's a house husband or a housewife energy. They don't want to do nothing. What is this? What the fuck is this? Excuse my language, but what is this? I feel like this is the 10 of, what is this? All right, I'm just going to talk about the card. I don't know what kind of card this is, honestly, because I have a new deck and they don't put the names at the bottom to show you the pictures. So what I feel like is like, first of all, this person has told you before, nobody can judge me but God. When you try to tell this person about themselves, they tell you, nobody can judge me but God. And you're like, bitch, no, God gave me judgment. I'm judging you, bitch. What else? Yo, this person is fucked up, yo. Also, this person takes advantage that y'all have children together. They know you're not going anywhere, Gemini, if y'all have children together. If that's not the case, you and this person have some kind of tie together, Gemini. They know they're going to take advantage of that. You have the nine of wands here as well. So, it's like when you come home and you start, like, busting your ass to make sure that the house is together because this person didn't do shit all day, then it's like you're sweeping. So say you come home and there's like hella dirt on the floor. You start sweeping, Gemini, right? You're sweeping, you're sweeping, you're sweeping. And this person's like, here, give me the broom. I'll do it. I'll, you take a load off. And it's like, you had a fucking day. You had a fucking day to do that shit. Like, bitch. So you don't even want this person's help. Also, you have the eight of wands here too. Okay, it's very quick that you and this person can get in an argument. So one thing that this person knows how to do, Gemini, is argue, for sure. All right, so give me the Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups here? <laughs> What's the Eight of Cups? Ace of Pentacles. What else? What is this? I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. What is this? The Chariot. Oh my God. So this is another thing too. When you come home, this person feels like, okay, you know, Gemini's home, let me leave. So whenever you come home, this person leaves. That's their tactic of not hearing your voice for what they leave behind for you. So this person will leave dirt behind, laundry behind, children's homework behind, anything that you ask this person to just take care of while I'm at work because I'm at work during the day. Just take care of this little thing. They leave it behind and then they're gone. This person is like, okay, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, okay? <laughs> yeah. Also, too, this person feels like because they give you money or whatever, it's okay. So there's, you just literally want this person to love you or give you, like, time or energy. But because of their money, they're like, no, no, no. Or because they're giving you a commitment because we're in a committed relationship, Gemini doesn't need more than that. This person, every time, like, you confront them, they're like, we're together. We're supposed to work together. And it's like, yeah, we are supposed to work together, motherfucker. But they use that against you because they know that you want a relationship right now or you want someone that's going to be committed to you, Gemini. Oh, shit. All right. What's the nine of... What's the... No, what's the three of coins, actually? What's the three of pentacles? What 
Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. So y'all have conversations all the time about how this person is going to change, how they're going to take initiative, but they never do. What else for the Three of Pentacles? Two of Wands. This person's like, yeah, I'm going to control what I'm going through, but this person is not going to change. As soon as the two, of Pent the two of Wands came out, sorry, as soon as the Two of Wands came out for the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune turned upside down. It's like whenever this person says, I'm going to take control, I'm going to do what I need to do, it's a straight ass lie. It's a lie. And this person could change for like a week or so, but after that, they go back to their old ways. So you're so tired of that, Jim? What's the Knight of Wands? Actually, what's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, this person doesn't see your side of things. They're also very avoidant when it comes to, like, that's what causes the argument because this person doesn't confront what they're, what they put you through, what they're, what they're doing that pisses you off. I feel like this person is not going to change. They tell you that all the time. You've heard it all before. Heard it all before. What song is that? Is that, um, who is that by? I heard it all before. I don't know the lyrics. Is that, that's not Jill Scott, is it? It's by somebody. It's like, I heard it all before. It's like an old school song. I don't know, but you heard this all before, Jim, and you're just not going for it anymore. Like, fuck out of here with this person. So that's your next 48, Jim. I'm about to do your singles next 48. It's going to tell what's going on with my singles for the next 40 hours, who's coming towards them, and what's um what advice Spirit has for my singles. So if you're feeling single, go head over to that reading. If you if this resonated or if you simply just enjoyed yourself here with me today, thumbs up the read. Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want a personal, that's going to be down in the description box below. If you want to buy a candle, that's also in the description box below. Keep in mind, if you're new here, my next 48 reads are not this short ever. They're usually longer, but I have to do that because I'm doing two double videos for you guys this week. So anyway, I love my gems and keep your head up and this person ain't shit, obviously, okay? Oh, anyway, we're going to move on to your singles read. So if you're single or if you're wanting to be single, head over there and meet me over there. Love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.